Australia has the fastest female swimmers by far. It's always scary to swim against Australia, but in the women's 4x100 freestyle relay, it is game over. It's the relay where we see who has the fastest set of four swimmers in the world. They're so dominant, I'm sure they will hold back a little, and that's a smart move. I'll tell you why in a moment. I'm going to make a video about every swimming event at the Olympics this year. The goal is that through these videos, we can enjoy every swimming event even more and hopefully learn to swim better in the process. I know the USA loves relays and they always put up a good fight when the stakes are high, but the numbers don't add up. Out of the 12 best times in history of this 4x100 freestyle relay, 11 of them have been done by an Australian team. They own the world record by a lot. They have broken it five times. No other team has ever come close to this time. The closest was five years ago by the Americans, and it was more than three seconds slower. That's more than a body and a half length slower. As a competitor, nothing is scarier than going against someone who doesn't even have to try their hardest to win. Emma McKeon won seven medals, four golds and three bronze at the last Olympic Games, setting a record for the most medals won by a female swimmer at a single Olympics. She is the second fastest swimmer in history of the 100 freestyle. Kate Campbell is the fourth fastest swimmer in the history of this event. She broke the world record in 2016. The funny thing is, she might not even be in the relay this year because there might be four faster swimmers than her. Molly O'Callaghan is the seventh faster swimmer in history. She was the 2023 world champion in the women's 100 and 200 freestyle individual events. She is the world record holder in the women's individual 200 freestyle. She won five gold medals last year and one silver. Brogda Campbell, Kate's sister, is the eighth fastest in history. She also might not be in the relay if she doesn't swim as fast or faster than her best time. Shayna Jack might not have an individual world record to her name or seven medals at a single Olympic Games, but when these four set the world record in 2023, she was the fastest of the four. She is the ninth fastest swimmer in history in the 100 freestyle. Meg Harris standing at 1 meter and 80 centimeters and with plenty of world championship experience is part of the world record relay. Australia has so many fast swimmers that no one knows for sure if these six or another young star might be on this relay. The only thing that can stop them is if they false start. In other words, if one swimmer gets too excited and jumps before the swimmer in the water touches the wall, they are disqualified. A fast exchange is crucial in a relay as it can add up to more than a full second. But when you are going to win by more than three seconds, these exchanges are not so important. So I think they will play it safe and lose a little bit of time on purpose just to make sure they're not disqualified. That's how dominant this relay is. They will literally be slower on purpose just to make sure they win. It's like Usain Bolt celebrating early. I've been on a quite a few relays. I've led some relays by being the fastest or the second fastest on the relay, but I have done my best times only when I was the slowest on the relay. There's something about being surrounded by people way better than you that brings the best out of you. This is why the USA is so dominant in many things. They recruit talent from all over the world like no other country. This is especially true in sports. The NCAA is by far the most successful athletic organization in the planet. That's why it's so amazing when there is another organization where better athletes are produced constantly. Australian swimming, specifically the last few years in the female side, is one such institution. There's a virtuous cycle going on in Australia. The best competing against the best is why these two countries are so ahead of everyone else. Australia and the USA, rivals as they are and as far as they are from each other, have a swim meet every other year to compete against each other. It makes both teams better. If I learned anything from making this video is that if I want to improve my skills, 
in anything, the fastest and most long-lasting way is to surround myself with people who are better at those skills than me. Thanks to our swimming company, we have met hundreds of swimmers who taught us things about swimming but also about life. We put all that knowledge into this video. Everything you need to swim faster. The comment section of that video is getting ridiculous. So we made little awards for the best ones, like this one. If we like your comment enough, it will get its own little award. See you there. Swim fast.